I remember when those factories were built. We were pretty happy about it. Concrete and glass and steel. Why, it was like money in the bank. More machines, more jobs. 36 million more men at work in the last 70 years. 18 new industries in the country. Millions of new jobs. Automobiles, gas, radio. Men want it. Men want it. Well, what about the men? That's a complicated question. Sometimes the change was slow. Machinery didn't always disturb our lives. The old jobs went, there was trouble, but we got new jobs. Take Russell, for example. Used to make carriages. Lived next door to me a good many years. He took to making parts for engines. A man with skilled hands like Tom can turn them to another trade if the work is not too far different. Even the older men had not so much trouble as you'd think. Some machines needed skilled men, almost as many as before. And this work was easier on the back. Or Bill Johansson used to be a brakeman on the railroad that ran from the junction across to our town. Now there's a bus runs right alongside the old track. He was out of work about six months. Now he's turning out parts for diesel engines. Same engines that helped put him out of his job. And that's the way it was. And machines like this, machine looms, came in pretty gradually. Everybody knew they were coming. Times were good. Men had a chance to look around, move to another state, move into our town, because they heard about our new luck. The steel rolling mill, 3,000 jobs, had to have skill, had to have strong arms and hard nerves. There it was, money for 3,000 families. The machines brought life to our town. Good times make good Christmas. Big payrolls from the steel mill, the engine plant, the weaving mill. Plenty of money in town and it went to buy food and clothes. The same all over the country. Machines making cheaper goods and more of them and new kinds of products. Quite a few new stores too. A lot of the young people got selling jobs in those stores and clerical jobs in the offices. Not so long ago either. 
My own youngest daughter got married. A Christmas marriage. Rang all the church bells in town. We thought prosperity would last forever. We were able to buy good products shipped from other industrial towns, from everywhere in the U.S., and we shipped our goods in return. The wheels kept going around. thought prosperity would last forever. Now it was over. We hoped it would return. But the machines were idle a long time. So were the men. It wasn't the fault of the machines. We can't blame them for depression. In fact, machines had often created jobs. But now there was depression. I never thought I'd see it snow on those rollers, two-thirds of the town on relief. Then when recovery began, when there were orders for steel again, the old mill stayed shut. The years had brought a new method, a new machine, automatic high-speed strip mill. For every 30 men who worked before, now there is one. No more strain on the back and shoulders. No more work for 3,000 families. Automatic, high speed, powerful, accurate. Never gets tired, never gets sick. 